What drew us to the project, I think, was all the things that we didn't know about the story and what was going on at the time in Billie Jean's personal life and Bobby Riggs's life and, um, and, and actually all the colorful characters in this movie. There's just so many incredible personalities. So, And, I, you know, I remember it was a huge deal. I, 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 the, the measure for me was Time magazine. When I saw Bobby Riggs on the cover of Time, this kind of cartoon version of him, I, I knew something was going on. And, you know, the weird thing about the Battle of the Sexes match is that it was big at the time, but it kept in the popular culture. It, it's, it never really has gone away. And, and so it's very fun to be able to shine new light on it. You know, people may have heard of it, but they don't really know what was happening in their lives, you know, out of the public eye. You know, when you admire someone so much and then you you meet them and you're saying, oh, we're going to make, we're going to put your life on screen. And that, the responsibility of that was was huge. We'd never done a real life story before. So, and particularly doing it for somebody who is alive and a f such a force of nature, um, I think we felt, that, you know, uh, it was scary all along. But, I, I, no. but she, she is... She's also, um, once she's on your side, there's no one better to have on your side. She's just an incredible uh, inspiration to us and to so many people. When I first read the script and we loved it and wanted to do it, like the second thought was, oh, we get to meet Billie Jean. You know, we get, she, we're gonna be friends. And, and we have become friends. And it's, it's, it's an incredible part of this journey, now that the film is finished, to be able to go out into the world and to have Billie Jean in the theater watching this movie with a packed house and hearing people respond. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I remember when we had our rap party and Emma showed up with blonde hair and all this makeup on and dressed like Emma, we both kind of felt like, wait a minute, Emma Stone is here, you know? Because the whole time we were shooting it, I just felt like we were working with Billie Jean. And um, it's so fun to see Emma really disappear into a role. And, and you know, she loves challenging herself. So um, she took it on and, you know, gained 15 pounds and worked out for four months. So. Uh, I'm very proud of the work she does in this film. The nude scene with Steve was the very last thing we shot, and it was it was a little harrowing because you know yeah we put all the tan lines and he you know brought him out onto the stage in a robe and kind of cleared the set and he was such a such a trooper and the line you know I mean he. He improvised that line my third about third nude shoot my, of the day. Yeah, he was he was making jokes the entire time. It was very funny. Our sons are in the background of that scene, and they were trying their hardest. I think he was trying to make them laugh, but it was so that was sort of the funniest of you know yeah. Steve. People always say, "What's it like working with Steve? Is he very he's funny?" And that that shoot in particular, he was uh, he was making us all like you know, bend over in pain. But laughing. you know, the thing about Steve in this movie is, I mean, he is literally naked uh, in one scene, but he did bear his soul as well. I mean, he really, uh, what was great about having Steve as Bobby Riggs is that there was a whole other side of Bobby that no one knew and Steve could really dive deeply into the character and show the complexity and all that was going on and all that made Bobby who he is. So he, he really got inside it. The cool thing is is that Bobby's right-hand man, Lorne Cool, who's um, in all the footage of the old match and um, Eric Christian Olsen plays him, Lorne trained Steve and Lorne knows more than anyone how much Bobby would approve of this.